Today we're introducing our most affordable film scanning kit in company history. The essential kit for 35mm film scanning includes everything you need and omits what you don't in order to quickly and easily scan your 35mm cut strips or rolls. The development of this kit has somewhat inadvertently been years in the making. Since Negative Supply was founded in early 2019, we've been focused on accessibility but also durability and you know, a real dynamic range of features and benefits in our products. And now this new 35 millimeter kit really marries together all of the essentials of what you need to scan your 35 millimeter film, whether you're at home, on the go, or in the studio. So what's included? By default, this kit is gonna include our Basic Riser Mini Mark II copy stand. This is a copy stand that's well suited very much for entry level mirrorless digital cameras or compact mirrorless full frame digital cameras or compact crop sensor DSLR cameras with a compact or entry level macro lens. Beyond the copy stand, it's also gonna include our all new Light Source 35, which is a compact, very bright, high CRI light source for scanning up to panoramic 35 millimeter film. Additionally, this kit is gonna include our basic film carrier 35 Mark II. This is our second generation entry level 35 millimeter film scanning device, capable of scanning strips or rolls of half frame, standard 35 millimeter and panoramic formats, all with included masks, all with this carrier. Additionally, you're gonna get our little adapter plate that connects the basic 35 carrier to our Light Source 35 and helps marry this kit together to be a complete solution for 35 millimeter scanning. Using this kit is pretty simple. Simply start by taking your digital camera and macro lens and the included camera mounting key with your basic riser copy stand. Slide the key into the window, line the camera up with the quarter 20 mounting stud on the, on the copy stand and tighten until the camera is safely secured. Once that's done, remove the key, put it back in its storage slot. Up next, we're gonna take our basic film carrier 35 Mark II. We're gonna put our adapter plate onto the bottom of it. It just snaps in place. It's a pretty firm fit, but you want it to be that way where it won't drift around on the light source. Once that's in place, we're gonna put the carrier onto the light. And then we're gonna select our format mask. So by default, you're gonna get half frame, full frame, and X-Pan or panoramic 35 millimeter format masks. Today we're gonna to scan regular 35 millimeter film, so we're gonna select this mask. This mask has a little tab on it where you can easily grab it without taking the carrier off the light. So it just slides in here at the side. Now it's in place. All right, now that we have our camera set up, our copy stand in place, the light source, the film carrier, etc., we're ready to scan some film. I typically wear anti-static or kind of uh, cotton gloves when I handle film, whether it's negatives or, or positive film. And today we're gonna load up a roll of 35 millimeter slide film. This is Kodak Ektachrome E100, uh, which is a fantastic film. If you've never shot it, I highly recommend it. So the film just loads in at the side of the carrier. I'm just gonna turn my light source on here. And I'm gonna pull the film up to the first frame. I'm gonna turn my camera on. Scan in aperture priority mode. So typically when I scan my film, I'll use either a cable release or a remote shutter release, uh, or I'll tether to a computer. In this case, just using as entry level a setup as possible, I'm just gonna use a two second timer on the camera. I'm gonna press the shutter button in, uh, let the camera take its two seconds to take the photo and then move to the next frame. So I've manually focused. I'm at aperture uh, setting of F8, ISO 200, cause that's the lowest this camera goes. We're gonna start scanning now. So two second timer. Cool. And we just move from frame to frame. Once you focused on a frame, you don't have to focus on every single frame. The carrier keeps your film flat, keeps everything on that same plane. So it's just wax on, wax off. 
Even scanning with a two second timer frame to frame, you can scan a full length roll of 35 millimeter film in just a few minutes. And if you use a cable release or tether to your computer, you can get fast at this. You can scan a full length roll of 35 millimeter film in 60 seconds or so. I'd also love to show you a few optional accessories that can be used with this kit. Um, one of the most popular things is a film scanning hood. So by default, the basic 35 Mark II includes a little hood adapter. We typically just leave this mounted on the carrier. It's something that I'd recommend you do as well. But if you buy our 35 millimeter film scanning hood, it comes with two pieces, the base hood and an extension. No hardware required to install this. Simply just slide it under the lens like so, drop it in place, and you're good to go. What this is gonna do is block extraneous light and overhead lights or window light from impacting your film skin by reducing contrast or causing you know, terrible reflections or ghosting on the top of the film. With certain macro lens and camera combinations, you might find you need an even longer lens hood or an even longer scanning hood, I should say. We do make a 35 millimeter scanning hood extension. Looks a bit ridiculous, but it can really come in handy when you need it. One unique feature on the basic film carrier 35 Mark II is that it has easily interchangeable film format cassettes. Just take the hood adapter off the top, and then there's two thumb screws that you quickly undo. And once these come out, you're able to switch between a host of different formats and unlock several new features on your carrier. So the cassette just slides out of the side, and then you can put in different formats. We have a 110 film scanning cassette, we have APS, we have Minox sub miniature, we have 126. And then we have this cassette. This is our 35 millimeter full border cassette. Probably the most popular accessory for this carrier. What this is gonna do is allow you to scan your 35 millimeter film with the sprocket holes, frame number, rebate information, etc all in plain view. This is a look many of us know and love, and it's something we're proud to have available with this exciting product. One last accessory that we've made that works exclusively with our Light Source 35 is our new mounted slide holder for the Light Source 35. So this simply drops straight onto the Light Source, no hardware or tools required. You adjust the opening with this one thumb screw, put your mounted slide in place, and then tighten it down to photograph the slide. This is a quick and easy tool to use. If you need to scan mounted slides you have at home or family archives, this is a great way to do it. If you have any questions about this kit, uh, its capabilities or some of its accessories, feel free to let us know in the comments or reach out to us directly. You can purchase this kit or any other negative supply product through us directly or through our wide range of retail partners globally. Before we go, we'd like to thank our special retail partner, Freestyle Photo, based in Los Angeles, California, for being so incredibly helpful in helping us launch this new kit and for being an exclusive launch partner with Negative Supply. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, shoot some film.